Hi, I just want to give my review for uh, the documentary that just came out, Britney Spears, Framing Britney Spears. So here's what I, my feedback for uh, Framing Britney Spears. A lot of that stuff that they showed in the documentary was something that like, I remember so much vividly, because I remember, especially 2007, when everything was just crashing for her. Like, people just thought she went completely nuts. And I'm just like, at the time too, I was also a, a big critical because it's, it's just something new. You don't see Britney like that. You don't see her falling apart like that. You don't see her having issues. You always have seen her with this nice image, this clear cut, sweet, all around American girl. Like she was a pretty little white girl <laughs> to basically put it. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I always seen her. I've always seen her that way. And then when that happened, when she started breaking down, it was just more like, what's going on? And of course the jokes came out and the tabloids, all those photos. Um, and even I was pretty much guilty too as well. I, yeah, I, I laughed a little bit too. I'm like, what is she doing? Especially when she attacked the, the car with the umbrella. Um, that was infamous. And especially the VMA performance. I watched that and I was just like, wow. Um, with a little clip with Rihanna laughing. I'm not sure if Rihanna was laughing at Britney or not, but it just matched up very well. So it just... It seemed funny at the time, but honestly, it's not funny. And as a lot of us have realized when we have grown up and matured, and now we look back on that documentary and we see what a person, not a joke, a person who was suffering and going through so much pain and she had nobody to really kind of pull her away from all that craziness and shield her a little or help her it was just more so like they just watched a, someone crumble and it, out of entertainment and enjoyment <clears throat> and it was pretty sad it was really really sad um i blame a lot of people like the media i blame them and her fa of course her father jamie spears i'm i remember when he got the conservative conservatorship I was just like, okay, good. Her dad's stepping in. He's going to do it. He's going to take care of her now. And because um, obviously, you know, mom seems to be like she was just going along with everything. And it was him just like, because you don't, you did not see Jamie like really a part of her uh, career life. Like he, he was in the background pretty much. I never really heard about her father that much uh, until <clears throat> when she had her breakdown. And then after that, it's just more like, okay. So he stepped it in. I'm like, oh, he's going to set her straight. He's going to get her life back on track. And she seemed to be doing well after that. But obviously it was not as as good as it seemed. And it's more like, okay, I thought, I thought that you had it. I thought he had her best interest in heart. And <clears throat> apparently not. Just another person who was... After money, Jen in the documentary even said it at the beginning. Like Jamie's just worried about how much money it was going to cost him or how much money he was going to make. So that's sad. That that really is sad. As a father, money is least of your worries. It's all about your child. And so I think he let her down. I think <laughs> Kevin Federline definitely let her down. I never really like. I never liked Kevin. I always thought he was a big mistake in her life, and I was really, 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 really excited when they got divorced, because I was just waiting for that to happen. I thought he was the biggest user, especially with the backstory of Kevin and Shy, um, Shar Jackson, uh, the girl from Moesha. And uh, it was it was like, yeah, if you can see the signs is written there, it's like he was after money, and he did a really good, he did what? what an opportunist would do just like sam uh lefty that dude and uh, everybody else in, in britney's life uh so back to the, the documentary because it showed a lot of things like the the whole entire the extent it just took me back to back to 2008 2007 2008 uh 
<clears throat> era. And it was just, I remember it just everything from that time. I remember all the scrutiny she was getting back to back to back. It was just like she was in the news constantly and people just kept talking about her and how crazy she was and uh, all the stuff she was doing. And it was just more like, it's just a girl for a cry for help. And obviously she just reached her breaking point where she was just like, well, it is what it is. And uh, <clears throat> she... Uh, she did what she did. Honestly, we can't go back. We can't go back and fix what we've already done. What's done is done. If we can fix a lot of stuff, <clears throat> well, yeah. What we can do from now on is give our support, our, our undying, well, just our, our, just give our support, show that we care so much. And uh, that we hear, that we hear her, that we stand by her, and that we want her released from this conservative conservatorship. Uh, I, I, keep, I keep having so much trouble with that word. I don't know why, but <clears throat> so I feel bad for Brittany. I do. And recently, I wanted to wait because I just I, I just wanted to see all of the reports that would just come out. Um, Justin Timberlake just recently apologized. That's a shocker. Didn't think he would actually say anything, but power of the internet. You start getting dragged, people gonna you you'll start issuing apologies as soon as possible, right? So he said sorry to Brittany and Janet Jackson. And uh it's just more like the apology is appreciated, but the timing it's like this wasn't really done on his accord. It was mostly because he was getting so much backlash after the documentary aired and people just actually realized like, oh my gosh, Justin really tried to use her as a scapegoat of the relationships and everything. It, like, I'm not going to spend too much time speaking about that relationship because it's not, you know, it's what's done is done. But I do remember that. I remember that Diane Sawyer, Sawyer blah, <laughs> I remember that Diane Sawyer uh, interview and it was just more like, yeah. She really was pushing like Justin was the good guy and Brittany was the bad girl. And uh, like those questions pretty much were pretty intense. And I'm just like, my goodness, Brittany. But as a person who, as a viewer, I just, I don't know. I, I was complacent. I watched it. I just went along with everything. And uh, the ups and downfalls, I'm... <clears throat> I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's, let's just put it out there. I like Britney Spears. <clears throat> I like her. I like her music. Not all of it. Most of what she's put out has probably been like decent enough. But uh, like, I like her era when she was actually using her real voice. That little deep one. That, oh, my, 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 that one. <laughs> uh, because, I don't know, I like that. That voice just, it's very unique to me. And then when she made it all high and poppy, it would just became so generic. And so, yeah, I liked, and I enjoyed, you know, well, let's just, let's just call it what we see, right? Britney Spears is our Madonna. She is our generation's Madonna. And, uh, we knew that, and that's why we hold on to her so much, because we know that she is a great entertainer when she's at the top of her game, like when she had that intensity in her eyes. Like you see her on stage and she's just like popping those moves back and forth and you're just like, whoa, this girl's serious. She didn't come to play at all. She came to put on a show and that's what she did. That's what she did. And it was more so, it's just more like, okay, what, what Brittany? is and will always be she's a part of the history should i say bernie's you know she's she's good <clears throat> so let me stop rambling let me just get back to the documentary all right so the documentary basically is more so like okay this is the backstory of Brittany and you know what she really went through the sexism of her and uh this you know objectifications of objectifying her in a sexual manner and then basically watching her have a breakdown and classifying it as entertainment 
you know, instead of not helping her, they just hurt her. And so my my thoughts mainly is everyone let her down, including us as a viewer. We let her down. We watched her in pain. And instead of like stopping the feed, as we like to call it now, we just continue to to push the narrative that she had lost her mind and we continue to just eat up all that all that bad negative attention that they were putting upon her and it was it was terrible right and so for my part if it means anything i would like to say i'm sorry i would i would like to say i'm very sorry to Britney Spears It's my. It's probably late, like everybody else's apology right now. But it's something I think, and it's something to show her that you know, in the end, the truth comes out, and in the end, right, it's right, and <clears throat> they always say. That yeah, you you will triumph over the bad stuff. So <clears throat> now you're triumphing. And I hope this attention actually goes back to the conservatorship in the courts and that they remove her father because obviously he's not really into her well being anymore, or if he ever was. It's it's become about finances to him as he keeps attempting to stay upon you know, that seems to be the main interest for him, and I'm just like why is this really about money do you really not to see your daughter anymore do you just see a paycheck percentages numbers it's not nice it just becomes like what kind of family are you if you are doing this to your own daughter your own flesh and blood <clears throat> she's a grown woman let her live her life let her have her finances let her have her control again with her, her children and, and let her be. She's done enough for everybody else. And now it's time for her to do it for herself. So yeah, remove him, get him out the picture, give it back her, give her back her life, give her back her, her control of her finances so she can get back to doing what she wants to do. Like I honestly, I was worried. I was wondering why she wasn't doing a lot of, you know, things recently. And how they just keep promoting stuff from her old catalog. And it made sense when they when I found out she's like, oh, she's not performing because she doesn't want to earn her dad any more money. So now I now I get it. Now I get it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Um like I said, I've I like Brittany. I do. And uh I just wish she had to want the best word, that's all. So on that note, I am going to stop this video. And if you've watched this far, thank you. And uh, yeah, hashtag free Britney. <laughs> See ya.